All right, so today we're gonna be turning the boring old gauge cluster into this. The new style 2015 and up cluster. All right, I think I can do that. So according to the video, we need the cluster bezel, which I'm on my way to the junkyard to go get right now. All right, so starting off, from what I've seen so far is we need to take this entire thing out. So with your little tool, I'm gonna go ahead and start at the corners. There we go. It's one little corner. I'm gonna just jiggle it a little bit. just a little bit stuck right here we just had to jimmy it out a little bit uh, looks like so far so good don't seem to have broken off any clips what I do remember that was next was the stereo itself has connections in the back I knew that something was always gonna have to break accidentally broke the little clip Now that we have the screen disconnected and everything out, angle it up. And it just comes out. Nice and easy. If I remember correctly to take these things off according to, uh, to the YouTube video, just, whoa, it's true. Jose, bro, you were right. You just literally, boop, and they come right off. Would you look at that? Wow, that's pretty cool. Damn, that's crazy. You just, Flex them to the side and they come right off. Look, ready? Ready? Woo. No force whatsoever. And look, everything intact. Nothing breaks. All the tabs are in place. Oh, yeah, I see why in the new, uh, yeah, this makes perfect sense. I'll be right back with uh, the proper tools to get this job done. But so far, we're off to a really, really good start. All right, so we got the new bezel here, and uh, what we're doing is uh, we're putting these back in. These are actually pretty easy to go back in. You just line them up, and just like that, they click right into place. Just gotta line it up with the little slit right here on the top. The nearest side uh, goes first. That way, when you just like put them in, they just go right in. So far so good. I like this. I like that this is like accented black with like a brushed finish. I like it more than, than, the old, than the older one. Can you use a flat head or what this ends up being is a seven? I'll get back to you guys once I finish taking off the screen. So there's four screws at each corner. Mine were a little tight, I'm not gonna lie. So I ended up using uh, this six and a half millimeters since the six millimeter is too small and the seven is too big so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna just drive until i hit the 740 mark and then i'll swap over the uh the other cluster you did it just hit 97 740 it means now that we have all the screws off for this thing, we're just gonna pull it straight out. Be very careful with the harness in the back. There we go. Just released. It's only one clip. Just clip from up here. And yeah. Now we go in with the new one. It seems to light up. All right, it worked. And hey, look at that, look at the mouse. Seven, seven, forty, let's go. And it works. Woo! I'm happy. All right. Let's uh, 
<laughs> Damn, it looks pretty freaking sick. The next thing to do is cut the tabs and make holes for zip ties so that way we can zip tie the screen onto the new bezel. Uh, sadly, it's not like this one where it just has a screw mount hole, but oh well. Ah yeah. This is definitely the move. Look at that. Oh, that is so badass. It's the little things, guys. Cause check it out. Now we got this. We got the heated and cooled cup holders. And we got the SRT pages for the big screen. God damn, it's the little things, guys. This was super easy. This really couldn't have been any easier. <laughs> this is what we have so far because we're kind of struggling on aligning the screen into the bezel. Just had to jinx it. That's really the only thing I'm having trouble with right now. Because everything else works. Yeah. It came for backup. <laughs> well, you drilled the holes on the holes inside? I used a uh, lighter and a screwdriver. <laughs> I know, and they're thick too, bro. They're a pain in the ass to work with. They barely fit in the house. So, this is how it looks with the zip tie. Thank you, whole set. We're about to try it out, see if I, hopefully the screen's not too tight. Now we're on to the final step of just trimming off the zip ties and we should be good. I present to you guys my cluster swap. That was a no one? Yes sir. As you guys can see, everything fits just how the original one was. So now we got the new gauges. Once you complete your cluster swap and you plug in your taser and you're ready to program it in order to be able to access the rest of the menus on the cluster, all you got to do is press cancel and the traction kill button at the same time. By pressing the two buttons, the car should automatically go into uh, cluster swap mode and just by pressing them, you'll be able to go through the menus. In order to be able to keep accessing the menus through the cluster, you need to make sure that you have the taser plugged in. It won't work if it's not plugged in. Just a quick disclaimer for you guys that have the five speed instead of the eight speed. As you can see, there are no gears whatsoever showing in this cluster. They're usually like right here, right up on this little black gray area. These clusters only show the gears if you have the 8 speed. But I really don't mind, right? I really don't mind. Especially because with the SRT pages, you can just see your gears right here on the big screen. That's gonna do it for this video. This video was definitely one of the most entertaining mods to do. One of the coolest mods, in my opinion. I would recommend going for it. It's not that hard of a mod. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Everything Boosted. See ya.